Welcome to Floaty Leaf Tea Podcast. My name is Shouwen, and I'm Noah. It's so good to be here. Agree. Ah,、uh, this morning we just did a ah,、uh, what is that? Blind tasting. Yeah, blind tasting on Hong Shui Gaba、mm. Oolongs, and I remember I was a little bit tired and not really remembering <laughs> things super well. And now I think I feel I'm not sure if it's if it's Gaba. <laughs> Or if it's、uh, with all of your help to be out there with us, and I just feel quite mellow right now. <laughs> Must be the gaba. <laughs> Must be the gaba. <laughs> yeah. So today we are going to taste two aged oolongs on our menu. Ah,、uh, one is the 1966 Beipu oolong. One is the 1980. Nineteen ninety eight, ah, Dongding oolong tea, ah,、uh, and today I think we will focus on the aftertaste, just like our previous podcast, um, yeah. But just like also our previous podcast, um, we don't want to ignore the other things we talk about yet, and so today we are doing, um. The bowl style again, the cereal bowl style、yeah. <laughs> tasting method with two soup spoons ready and two cups and two white bowls and with four grams of tea boiling hot water to soak the tea. And so we'll talk a little bit on the smell again, but not in that detail that、like、our podcast、uh, in the first two or three episodes. Three.、Uh, Episodes on those subjects and then on the texture, but we'll still do a little bit before we go into the aftertaste. Okay,、yeah. sounds good. <laughs> oh, also, by the way,、uh, Jake, if you are listening, I know Noah supposed to sing today, but he said he cannot just do it on the spot like this, so we'll have to wait just a little bit more、yeah. episodes, I think. <laughs> um, for those of you who have our age, Beipu. Oolong, you know that the leaves are a little bit、uh, broken, and so actually right now it has been released the flavor pretty fast. So I'm going to go ahead and smell it, and the、uh, Dongding seem to still have a little bit more time to go. Looks like it by comparison, but maybe it's also ready. But we'll just smell. So I just like take out the soup spoon and soak into the brew、uh, tea leaves, and just with the the empty soup spoon to smell the smell of aged beipu. Smell very. F- Uh, fruity to me, like some sort of dry fruit. More related for me, like um um, what is that? Prune and prune still with a pit inside. Not the pits that got taken out. <laughs> I rarely come up with such a detail, by the way. And there's a sweetness to it, also related to prune, kind of a sweetness to it. A little bit herbs, also like dark Chinese herbs. Yeah, I smell. I smell that kind of old dried herb, like、yeah. a walking into a Chinese. Herb shop store, yeah. yeah. And then here you go, 1998 aged Dongding. Just on the smell, okay. Ah,、uh, the sweetness feels a little bit more f- from the fanta side. The fanta side. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Fanta, more fant. Sorry. Really, I think. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, cool. Yeah.、Uh, <laughs> um. Also has a kind of a mineral mineral scent in there too. And then a little bit roasty, not too much.、Um, so the if I have to also call this a prune, the prune smell is a bit、uh, on the lighter side. Okay. Then second one, let's do it with where the scent is going. The 1966 Beipu goes beyond the nostril for sure, but it just almost feels like two stray lights shooting into the shoot beyond the. Nostril passage, and after that, nothing too much developing. Yeah, it hits the hits the sinuses just a little bit though. Yeah, and it's bold. Very st- very yeah. straight line. Yeah, very straight line. Very clear to see. Actually, I think this one will be a a good one for you guys to smell to see a straight line go in past your nostril passage. Yeah, yeah, and then the nineteen ninety eight Dongding, ah,、uh, it pass for sure also, and then there's a little bit. After it pass, it have a little bit more development into the head. There's more of a cooling sensation,、mm. but to be fair, it's not as obvious as the beipu. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the next one, there's 
look at the texture of the broth and then maybe if you want to do it on the weight or whatever either on the way on the if it's smooth if it's clear etc etc whoops that's wrong <laughs> i think i'm very mellow so i'm not super clear right now i just try to give no other wrong tea <laughs> so beipu medium body to me uh, smooth yes spraying a little bit almost cover the whole tongue yeah and it's focused a little bit more in the middle middle back of the towards tongue. the back mm. on the on the focus focal point mm. and then they see the dong ding softer cover the whole thing yeah uh, you can see the movement a little bit pushing towards to the back more easily and spreads beyond just the tongue also yeah goes up as well mm -hmm. nice much softer. Mm -hmm. And I really encourage you when you drink a tea, really look at the texture, structure, whatever you want to call it, okay? Sometimes if, if you don't like the words I use, uh, just choose the words that you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good advice. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, since English is actually not my... Oh, English is actually my third language. First one is Taiwanese until I was six. And then Mandarin Chinese got introduced to when I went to school, elementary school. And uh, let me see. I think middle school, I started to pick up a little bit English. Well, if you think about it, English is just a dialect of Chinese anyway. So What? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Very and my name, is, my name is Xiu Wen. <laughs> uh, okay. So now let's look at aftertaste. So after you swallow the tea, you will detect that you might be either tasting the tea in a bouquet or in a taste or in a sensation. And let's look at these teas, how you are tasting the aftertaste. Is this too much like a lesson? Like a lecture? I don't know. Let's keep going and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> We're just getting warmed up. It took you a while to respond. <laughs> I'm going to cut out the silence so it sounds like I responded right away. <laughs> uh, just on the side note, we are actually slower today. I have not been able to sleep too well lately. So today I'm quite tired. And so my response time also <laughs> <laughs> takes a bit longer to uh, respond or take put the tea in the wrong place, throw That's it okay. out. When I chop it up in the <laughs> editing software, it'll be like nothing changed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, after taste, Beipu. There's taste coming back on the herbal and and uh, the the tartness. Thank you. <laughs> the tart note. Um, and also on the sensation of salivating yes. from the side. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. Oh, really? Yes. Whoa. Wow. From the side of the tongue, uh, I would say none of them are in a huge volume. Like, wow, that is so strong. But you for sure feel the presence. But it does make you salivate, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a medium, gentle to medium way on the side, and uh, it feels on the side and on the top of the tongue. It's just a sensation, though. I heard that how one can salvage actually is from the bottom of the tongue. So <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Whoever is um, maybe uh, some sort of tongue scientist, you can... Uh, <laughs> you can Calling uh, all tongue scientists. Calling all, all tongue scientists. All professionals, doctors. You know, you can give us some... Um, okay, any tongue, tongue professionals in general. You don't have to be a scientist. <laughs> Yeah, and there's the salivation, even though it's not like super, super strong, is so far it has been lasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for this long. And let's look at Dongding, 1998 Dongding. I heard that was a very good year. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. Always everybody put out this joke, you know, so I have to copy a little bit. <laughs> you know, did, did I tell you guys that, okay, this is a sign note again. <laughs> Either I want to become an actress or I want to do some stand-up comedy. What do you guys think? Maybe give me feedback to think if, you know, just tell me the truth. Can I really make it? A okay? true stand-up comedian doesn't wait for anyone's response. Just get on the stage and start making comedy. 
What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> The only, is that, response, is that yes or no? the only response you need is the laughter of a thousand people in the room with you. What, what if they don't laugh? Yeah, then you, that's going to that's gonna tell you something also. Oh, oh God, it's brutal. Mm. Okay, fine. Okay, don't think. <laughs> Bigger salivation. I'm not sure if I... I guess, yeah, you can... You can... You can say it's... Bigger. I don't feel the. It's kind of. A, do you call it oxy oxymoron? <laughs> Maybe. Go on. <laughs> so, I feel that the way. So if you can. So actually, your your saliva is not like shooting out from the side or like the top of your tongue, right? <laughs> That's an unpleasant image. <laughs> really? I thought it's really cool. But anyway, so <laughs> you. You will feel that the, I, I feel, not you. I feel the vapor is like shoot out just a little bit. Like if I say one centimeter, mm-hmm. and then dong ding, this dong ding, uh, this edge dong ding was sh- the shooting out a little bit higher. Mm. That's how I'm feeling it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. On the, it, it feels longer mm. on the salivation. It's like it has, but it doesn't mean it lasts longer. No, it's it, like, it actually doesn't last as long. I think that the Beipu salivation lasts longer, but the salivation in this tea is more. Like when it happens, it happens more. Hmm. So when you say stronger, that's why I, I feel like, is it really stronger? Mm. Um, it feels longer and finer to, finer to me. Mm. Yeah. And then, so that's why I feel that actually uh, Beipu is just a touch stronger by the length Mm. of the salivation feeling is not as strong and not as strong yeah like the power behind the salivation is yeah, not as strong yeah yeah, yeah 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 i feel the same way and then i'm going to put some we are almost halfway done to the cup so i'm going to put some more boiling hot water into both of the cups and then in this second round of uh aftertaste maybe see if we can detect which it happened for the first time last time how i look at aftertaste uh generally is is how i feel it or taste it after a tea broth was swallowed and last time somehow it just showed to me that i was also at the same time tracing the way it moves back yeah so the moment you swallow, is there a presence moves back with it? And uh, I remember last round we did the He Huan San and Dong Ding Traditional A, and the Dong Ding Traditional A has a have a stronger p- a movement coming back, not just on the top of the salivation, stronger. Which He Huan San actually have a much more beautiful and stronger bouquet. Uh, that shows up, but the physical movement, I don't see the liquid coming back at me. Yeah. So let's see how this 2T moves or move. <laughs> so I just put hot water into both of the cups and let's look at the bay pool again. With the bay pool, I personally don't feel after I swallow the tea, the movement moves back, but with a, a really solid, strong presence of when the when the liquid hit the tongue and then that presence doesn't leave. Therefore, you can still also by this way taste the tea uh, without the, you feel like the broth is coming back at you. Uh, am I clear on this part? I think so. It, it's, okay, cool. For me, it's more the impression of the tartness that stays with me mm-hmm. after I swallow the tea. Mm-hmm. And there's that salivation feeling. Yeah. Which? Yeah. So a presence and plus salivation, which a presence that I detect already when the when the liquid hit my tongue, uh, and I, I swallow it. So the physical liquid doesn't stay, but the presence of feeling stays, and they continue. Of course, change into an aftertaste. Then, yeah, to me. And I see this dong ding. And with this nineteen ninety eight dong ding, um. I feel there is a effort of there is a effort of the presence, the movement try to come back. The presence also stay and it's very soft and it stays and then longer uh longer physical salivation on the on the actual 
salivation. Am I making any sense at all? That, <laughs> that's hard to yeah, that's hard to hard to talk about. It's not okay. It's not that the length of time of salivation yeah, yeah, is yeah. longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the time. Yeah, it's, it's longer. It's that the. Uh, it's almost like the if 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 there's a how do you guys call that those things a geyser that, those things that you guys um like to. Look at it in a park. The water or a fountain, 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 and sometimes the fountain just shoo out lightly, shoo out stuff, water, not stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, not stuff, water. And sometimes they just do a more dramatic shoot and higher on the water. And and I'm not talking about Dongding is shoot up so dramatically. It's just longer. Mm-hmm. It's actually quite gentle, but much longer. Yeah, yeah. Than the uh, than the uh, uh, what is that? So if if I really use a wa- uh, fountain water, then then the the baypu is is really thick and more stay close yeah, to the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, this dongding is longer on the length and then uh, thinner actually, to be honest with you, but much higher and softer. There's a there's an elegance about it, mm-hmm. and um, and so I can. I can feel it quite nicely with that kind of a, uh, that kind of a structure and puffiness. And there's, there's a taste and bouquet comes back though. It kind of roll back after I swallow it. So yeah, it's not just salivation. There's actually a, a puffier taste that comes back into the mouth for a form of an aftertaste in the listong ding. Mm. And I'm really noticing it towards the back of my mouth, going towards the throat. Yeah, throat is very strong, which uh, I believe in the either the next, right, the next uh, um, episode will go into the throat sensation. Since I love this subject, by the way, throat sensation, I will not stop talking about it. <laughs> um, um, so. But this one, for sure, you can feel more throw and how it actually hit the throw. And then, of course, the physical liquid goes down and then the taste comes back in. Mm. Kind of take a, like at the throat area, take a turn and then goes up back into, back into the mouth again. Yeah, it's, it's the fragrance though, right? It's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Fragrant or, or, or taste, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know the difference between the two. <laughs> So I hope that um, those of you who are listening out there, um, you find this helpful in your tea journey. Um, I found this very interesting to to look at it more closely in a in a very detailed way because I um, I do have some meditation practice, and for me, I understand that meditation doesn't have to be just in a choir and sit down form i think with tea i am actually try to be doing as much meditation as possible to and to notice so many tiny small details actually i believe i combine with my other practices at home and you can use that too uh, in your uh, uh in other activities that you enjoy doing also apply almost like similar techniques to it um I found that very interesting and helpful to combine. After all, I only have 24 hours a day uh, and I do have to sleep too. And so to practice multiple things, like each day I have to take one hour to do this, two hours to do that, it's, it's in a way very, um, sometimes those practice uh, help us to be more grounded, but I found it also at the same time, ah, <laughs> I don't have one hour for this one. Ah, I'm a bad person. I'm a bad student. Ah. So it's kind of opposite. So sometimes I try to combine multiple of the practices that I'm doing in my life. For example, lifting water kettle. Then I do it with my Tai Chi technique. Try to do it with a Tai Chi technique, for example. Yeah. So anyway, just hope you guys find this uh, uh, useful. We might do one more session on aftertaste or we'll just move on to a big thing that I'm so fond of the throat sensation. Not sure yet. I'm quite spontaneous, by the way. That, that's the thing about aftertaste is it's it's hard to keep it in, uh, yeah, in the mouth. Yeah, I know. Because aftertaste is... It's also... It expands throughout the rest of the... Uh, 
body. body. So uh, if you guys notice, we haven't passed the throat area yet. So I think the moment we start to pass up the throat area, we'll start to combine all this together mm. again to the brain, to the inside of your mouth, behind your brain, <laughs> the throat and how a tea really move. And then eventually really talk about the body part. Mm. Um even sometimes the arms, the legs, the stomach, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, they kind of fun subjects, but I think I want to uh, focus a bit more still in the head area. Totally, yeah. Mouth, eyes, nose, ears. Mm. We even haven't talked about ears yet. Yeah, we haven't. I'm actually <laughs> just thinking this. This the dong actually ding. has some to yeah. the ear. So yeah. um, I think I want to tie it with uh, maybe I will have one. We will have one or two episodes on the bouquet again okay yeah sure bouquet will heavily link to the ear area sure. and then with the aftertaste and how you should be be able to predict that mm. with the scent because i don't think we actually have have a scent uh episode yet no we went straight from scent to, to the, the texture yeah. and so i think i want to actually do a couple of episodes on the hard broth smell and empty cup smell mm. And to link those two also together. Uh, I think so, it would be also interesting to do it after we've kind of reached down into the throat and the rest of the body. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. I, this is a, this is actually a new direction that we are doing with our podcast. And it's extremely fun for us right now. And so we'll try to come up with something that will make a little bit more sense for the learning and for us to try to present that rather than like, you listen to it say, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are also in the learning phase, by the way. Um, so I think that's it for the day. Um, and uh, once again, we want to be, uh, we want to thank those of you and uh, all of you who support this program and those of you who have been uh, responding to our emails and to support uh, small businesses to go through um, kind of a difficult moment for for a lot of people at this time uh, with uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, virus issues. And um, I think overall, it's all impacting everybody in either a minor way or in a big way. And we got a lot of wonderful support for you guys. So I just want to tell you guys, uh, for this month, uh, Washington State customers, if you don't feel comfortable of going out, which uh, please put your health in the first place, um, we want to offer you uh, free shipping for your orders. And for outer state customers, we lower our f uh, free shipping to $50 per order, uh, try to help everybody to get tea. I do found that, um, that I can go through this time is one of them is actually tea. I cannot tell you how happy I actually to do a live session to, to be able to drink tea with, with all of you guys out there and to have interaction with you guys. Um, uh, cause it had been super intense for me, you know, up and down, not knowing where this is going and not knowing if we have to close the shop, if something happens, not knowing if I have to cut people's hours, you know, like, et cetera, et cetera. And so, um, but I know that a lot of you guys are supporting us. That's for sure that I know. So if any of you guys that need help, please also don't hesitate to reach out to us that in whatever ways that will be helping you too. And I think that's it. Drink more tea. <laughs> I think Gaba Oolong works a little bit. I'm not endorsing that. Uh, at least for me today, uh, we did a live blind test in Gaba Oolong and I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> and so I will be drinking a lot of Gaba Hong Shui. <laughs> Yeah. Just to uh, chill myself out a little bit further than usual. <laughs> and so keep listening and keep drinking good tea and keep practicing whatever is helping you. And stay grounded. And um, thank you so much. Happy tea drinking. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.